In this video, we will learn how we can use the satisfies keyword in TypeScript to make our code much more compile time safe, but also keeping it runtime safe. So let's say we have our type here locations and we have it to be either Oslo or Zurich. Now let's say we have a function here, get country for locations. We pass in our location like this and we want to return the country as a string. Now, what we can do here is we could use if else for this, but I will use switch cases to start with. So we have a location in here and we say, okay, we have the case for Zurich. Now we say return Switzerland. Now we can see we get a compile time error because of the return type. Why? Because TypeScript figures out, okay, there are two possible locations, but only one is covered for this in this branch. Now, what I would have to do is I would say Oslo and return Norway and only then the TypeScript compiler would be satisfied. Why is this? Because if I would not have added Oslo, then it could have returned undefined, but we only want to allow the string as return type. So now we have figured this out, but what would happen if I have this get country for locations here and I pass in Paris and I use as any, because this is basically how you can just trick TypeScript into allowing anything. So if I would call this with Paris, it would just return undefined because we have not covered the branch in Paris in this switch case. Now to fix this from happening, we would have to use a default case here and say throw new error. And we then say location is not known. And now we have the runtime safety in place, the runtime check. So if I call this with Paris, it will throw an error if because it's not Zurich or Oslo. But because of this default case here, we now have lost a really crucial part of our compile time safety. What do I mean with this? Well, let's say I remove this as any here and I go back to my locations here and I add the Paris branch. We can see something interesting. Now everything compiles, but we really do not want it to compile because we want to TypeScript to, th to throw us a compile time error because we have not covered the branch. But TypeScript now thinks, well, okay, the developer maybe has not covered the branch for, these, uh, for this Paris branch, but he has this default case, so I will just throw an error. But how we can now have both the runtime safety, but also the compile time safety? We can use the satisfies keyword. So we go in there in the location and we say satisfies never. And now something interesting happened. As we can see, we get a compile time error because the satisfies here is not satisfied basically. Why is this? Well, in this case, satisfies does the following. It checks if the type of location at this point of the code satisfies this type here. And because this location at this point could be a string because TypeScript figured out that this switch case only covers Zurich or Oslo, but the locations type has also Paris in it. TypeScript figured out, okay, location might be a string at this point, and you cannot assign a string to never because never because the string is not a subtype of never. So this will throw a compile time error. Now, if I add in here Paris and I return France, we can see the error goes away because now we have covered all the possible branches. So by using this approach with the satisfies keyword, we now have the compile time and runtime safety in place without having to sacrifice one for the other. 